you get your first career home run. Tell me what was that like? Uh, what did you kind of see on that pitch, and what was kind of the? Uh... You know, I was I was I was hunting fastball, and you know I got it, and uh, I just did the most I could with that pitch. Um, didn't try to do too much. Uh, you know, leading up to that, I was just working on staying in the middle of the field and BP, and you know, just tried to turn and burn on one of them. You get it over the fence. Kind of, I mean, it's two right fields, so you're seeing it as you're coming around first base. What's the thoughts that are going through your head then? Oh man, I. Right when I hit it, I didn't initially think that I that I got it. I hit it, and it just kept. And I saw the guy in right field turn around. And I was like, "No way! Like, no, absolutely no way!" And then it went out. And right when I hit first, I was like, "Holy smokes!" <laughs> it went out. And you had a big smile on your face. It seems like it still hasn't gone away. Uh, you know. Always exciting to get that first one, but to get it in, in a series like this against Fullerton, you know, the team that's at the top of the Big West that you guys are kind of chasing right now, right. does it make it that much more special for you? You know, it, it does. It's just, it's just another game. It's just another game to me and to this whole team. It's just, it was just another game, and we tried not to do too much. We came out here, you know, we the standings and all that. We think about off the field, on the field. It's just, you know, just a kid's game. Just another game, and. Uh, you know, with the home run, it did it, it did make it feel a little bit special. But in the end, you know, it was just it was just another run. You know, they were able to even it up right after that. But your next at bat, you come up. There's a run on second base. Uh, they go with a pitching change. Even though Connor Seabol was, I think, at the 63 pitches. Um, what were you kind of looking for when you saw Miles Chambers coming in? What were you kind of expecting from him, and, and how were you able to, you know, get a base hit there to keep right. that going? I, you know, I saw I, I, on the report, you know, he had a he had a good change, and I was expecting okay. to get yeah. off speed, yeah. so I tried to stay back as much as I could, and uh, you know, battle the two strikes, and then once I got that, I think he hung a change for me, and I just did what I could with it, threw my bat at it, and uh, just tried to battle. Behind the play today, you had you know Shane Bieber. What did you kind of see from him? What was working? What wasn't? Uh, you know, he first two th times through the lineup looked brilliant, and the third time through, it seemed like they were getting some uh, some better contact on it. What did you kind of see? You know, I he he was you know he was an absolute bulldog today, going after going after guys. His slider was really working today. He was getting a lot of a lot of swings and misses with that slider today, and uh, you know we just focused on keeping the ball down. And he did, and uh, he pitched. He had a he had a hell of an outing. How much confidence do you guys have when you see Kyle come in out of the bullpen? Oh, it's we we immediately know that he's going to get the job done. You know, he's got that mentality of just you know, here hit this. He's going to throw this here, take this. You know, he's he's just he's an absolute monster when he gets on the mound, and he's got you know, not not too high, not too low, just an even keel, just bulldog up there. And from facing him in inner squads and different things, you know, how dirty is that slider they throw? That slider, you know, he has got me out with that slider quite a bit in inner squads, and uh, it was really working today from what I saw.